Hey Cactus friends, it's Jenny from Cookies Cacti. Well these past few weeks have been pretty fun with all those interviews and the show and sale and I hope you all enjoyed those videos as much as I did. It's an absolute joy to be able to share those activities with you all. And now we are back to our old school Cookies Cacti content of cactus seedling updates. So we are at 30 weeks for tray number one on the cactus seed soil battle series that we've been doing, oh my gosh, since like November of last year. We're at 30 weeks on tray number one, 20 weeks on tray number two. And just as a recap for everybody, this whole experiment started with comparing six different soils of sowing astrophytum and aerocarpus seeds and then watching how germination progressed and how seedlings developed over all this time. I am planning to continue this update once a month, probably until we hit either the one year mark or when these seedlings start to overcrowd or overgrow their nursery pots because once I move them out of their nursery pots here, I won't be able to continue the experiment because I don't have enough soils of all these different types of soils. So at 30 weeks, <laughs> I still feel like every time I think about doing these updates, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's such a mess. And you know, you're, I don't know if we're really getting much conclusions from this experiment at this point, but I hope for those of you who are interested that you enjoy seeing these updates because then you can see how these seedlings are progressing, even if we can't really make any kind of conclusions on the experiment. So let's go ahead and do what we usually do. We'll go over tray number one, astrophytum. Then we'll go, I guess, maybe we'll go to the aerocarpus trays and then we'll go to tray number two. I don't know, we'll figure it out. So at this point, uh, all the aerocarpus seedlings from both trays have been moved to their own tray because aerocarpus seem to like a little bit more protection from light and they seem to like to have a high humidity environment for longer than the astrophytum. And you all know I am not an expert on growing these cactus from seed, so I'm still figuring things out as well. I've had a lot of failures with aerocarpus, and this time they're actually doing the best that I have ever had my aerocarpus do, so perhaps this is the way to go. And that is with the help with, um, of many of your feedback saying, hey, aerocarpus need more time in, a, in an enclosed space with a little higher humidity, and that seems to be very true, so thank you all for all that feedback. All right, let's go ahead and get started with tray number one. We'll look at the astrophytum. And um, there are six different soils in this particular tray, and it's the center six columns of pots. There's some stuff in here that obviously are not astrophytum, and that's because that this used to be the aerocarpus pots, but then um, I had to move them, and then I needed space, so there's other seedlings in here that are not part of the experiment. So let's go ahead and start on this side with the Unigro cactus soil. And you can see like this pot of astrophytum hybrid seedlings. Well, they're pretty good. Coming up well. By the way, these astrophytum seeds all came from my own plant. They're completely mixed of hybrids. I don't know who the parents are, which makes it super fun because you just don't know how the seedlings will turn out. We can kind of see um, there's some variability between the pots, even within the same soils. Again, could be a light intensity thing, uh, who knows. But Unigro is doing pretty well, and Unigro you can't find at your big box stores, but I find it at my local nurseries. It seems to be doing pretty well in the fact that um, I'm able to access the soil so that it's not horrendously expensive and seems to do well. Next is the Rob Romero mix, and uh, I do encourage for those of you who are new to the series to see episode one of this whole cactus seed soil battle series, because I go into detail about each one of these six soils, how much it costs, you know, the cost breakdown of how, how, of how much it costs per pot and all of that. Um, and it also goes through what the Rob Romero mix is. I'll just say that one component of the Rob Romero's mix is to use your native soil, and my native soil is clay which I learned is not good for growing plants from seed. However, the germination on the Rob Romero mix, considering it's using my clay soil, is, is pretty good. But you'll see that the progress of the seedling development is clearly slower than the other soils. 
However, I'm thinking, and folks have made comments that perhaps this would be closer to like a hard grown, um, like nature grown type of plant. So it will be interesting to see how the look of these plants are different from the others that are growing a lot faster. But you know, they're still alive and this pot is you know, pretty full of seedlings. Same thing here. Well, this one's doing okay, but you can see that the size of the seedlings for the Rob Romero mix is pretty consistent. Um, definitely smaller than you know the seedlings uh, in neighboring pots in other soils. Next is Miracle Grow Seed Starter with Miracle Grow Perlite, which actually is not doing too bad. In terms of seedling development, it actually looks pretty good. It's that the germination rate was not as good as the other soils, but in terms of the ones that have managed to germinate and to survive, I think they're doing pretty well. Like, like this pot, for example, there were 25 seeds that were sowed per pot and there are clearly not 25 seedlings in here, but of the ones that remain, not bad. Look how fun it is. I mean, they vary so much. I think this pot I was staring at because look at those seedlings. Look at that, they're so cute, so pretty. Next is the miracle Grow Cactus Citrus Palm Mix uh, that came straight out of the bag with no amendments and it is the worst performing of all six soils. There are still some seedlings left, um, but you can barely see them and they're clearly not doing so well. But I don't even know if you can, it's right in the center of the screen. There's an astrophyllum seedling, doesn't look too good. But we've already learned from this experiment that one conclusion we can make for sure is don't use miracle Grow Cactus Citrus Palm Mix straight out of the bag for growing um, cactus from seed. And perhaps it's probably not great for adult plants either because it's just so organic, extremely dense. Um, but you know, from tree number two, we find that if we amend this with inorganics, it does much better. So it's not like this is a no on the miracle Grow Cactus Citrus Palm Mix. Just don't use it straight out of the bag like this. Amend it. All right, next are our two premium soils that I purchased off of Etsy. The first one is East Coast Kamanchaka. Uh, his soil did very well. You can see how full these pots are with seedlings. I mean, it was close to 100% germination. Might have been like 74 out of 75 seeds that germinated. So it did really well. You can see that most of the seedlings are still around just by how full the pots are. Development on the seedlings is pretty good. Um, although in terms of development, I'd say that like the Unigrow and the Miracle Grow seed starter with perlite is not that different. But the numbers, the numbers on the East Coast Kamanchaka are much higher, are significantly higher than the Miracle Grow, for example. Now, the one thing on these two premium soils is that they are considerably more expensive than these other bagged soils. However, I did see East Coast Kamachaka left a message on my, I think my last update video, that a lot of this cost is primarily from shipping because they ship in the um, priority mail small box, at least the one that I purchased. You know, and that's already, I don't remember, like $15, $17 right off the bat just on shipping. So in, he was saying, you know, would it be cool if they offered a larger quantity to try to get that shipping cost, um, you know, not the dominant factor of the soil cost? I'm like, yeah, definitely. So do keep that in mind. It is shipping is just kind of kills the, the price. But, you know, I did the calculations based off what I paid shipping and the soil. And uh, of course, it's going to be more expensive. But otherwise, his soils did very well. On the last premium soil is the Lofo Pro, uh, I think Lofo Pro Seed Starter by Mike's Rare Plant. And its germination wasn't as good as East Coast Common Chaka. I would say it was on par with like the Unigrow and stuff. However, the seedling development has been really excellent. It is the best seedling development out of all six of these pots because if I kind of come out a bit, you can really see the difference and how much larger the seedlings are uh, from the Lofo Pro seed starter compared to the rest. Quite impressive. Like if I go like this, you can really see like over here. 
look at how big those seedlings are. So they're developing really well, really, really well. Like this one has three ribs. And that may not stick. You can see like a mix of five ribs, four ribs, three ribs. So re look at how fuzzy that seedling is. Oh my goodness. And that one, you can see those little bumps between the ribs, that fukurayu kind of thing. We have found that when you grow these extremely hybridized seeds, uh, they you get surprises like that, which is really fun. Yeah, so this is 30 weeks of tray number one on the astrophytum. Next. Let's take a look at how the Areocarpus are doing. So you can see my Areocarpus, I have moved all the pots from tray one and two into this tray. I have left the dome on, uh, although I have these dials fully open, so it can breathe. And then I have this, I think this is like 50% shade cloth draped over. Apologize on the lighting, it is pretty dark. Um, and this is how I've been keeping the Areocarpus tray. So I'm gonna take this stuff off so we can actually look at the seedlings. Okay, now this is probably going to be even darker than where we were at for the astrophytum, but we'll just do the best we can. From tray number one, the Areocarpus pots are six, um, these six here. So this whole row of four and then these two. And I just put them into the same order as we went over the astrophytum. I don't know. Let's just take a look at how the seedlings are doing. So first, let's look at the Unigrow. And again, these Areocarpus seeds also came from my own plant. Uh, and they were 25 seeds per pot as well. So this is Unigrow. I'd say the seedlings are doing pretty darn well. You can see those tubercles are very obvious. Tubercle development. Doing pretty well. Next is the Rob Romero mix, again, with my clay soil as the native soil, which is really not great. But the germination was not bad, and it's kind of hard to see the seedlings because their color is so similar to the pumice top dressing, but they're in there. And their development is definitely slower than the other soils, but, you know, they're still there. Let's see, next we've got Miracle Grow. Uh, Miracle Grow, oh, sorry, let's do this. Miracle Grow Seed Starter with Miracle Grow Perlite. I did it out of order. This one's actually doing pretty well, too. Can you see all the little aerial carpus in there? Tubercle development, doing well. Some of these have three tubercles now. You know, not bad. Not bad. Maybe the numbers that came up were not as good as, let's say, the Unigrow, but not bad. And considering how easy it is to find this medium at big box stores, and it's very affordable as well. Uh, let's look at Miracle Grow Cactus Citrus Palm Mix again, straight out of the bag. He did very poorly. Uh, I think there is a, there are actually two seedlings that I can see. I don't think you're going to be able to see it in the on the camera. Can you see that one? There's one seedling there, right in the center of the screen, and there's one more. You see that right in the center of the screen? You can just see the tip of the tubercles. So there's two seedlings I can see in this pot. Let's see, next, let's look at, I think those are our four regular, uh, quote unquote, regular soils. Now come our um, two premium soils. East Coast Kamanchaka did very well in terms of germination. Um, these Areocarpus seeds came up the fastest in the East Coast Kamanchaka soil. And um, seedlings are kind of dark, so it's kind of hard to see them, but you can see they're very well developed very well developed. Uh, don't know if it's obvious or able to compare between Unigrow in the pot behind it, but I would say they're pretty close, but the East Coast Kamanchaka may be a little bit more developed than the Unigrow, but they're pretty close. But East Coast Kamanchaka germination was the best. It came up the fastest, so all the seedlings here are going to be, you know, more developed than everything else just because they came up so fast. But, you know, you can see how they compare. Last but not least, we've got the Lofa Pro Seed Starter from Mike's Sword Plants, and you can see the 
aerial carpus in there. Doing all right. Mm, I don't think there's a huge difference between uh, the Lofo Pro and even the Miracle Grow seed starter, for example. Uh, I don't know if you can see them together at all. Nah. Yeah, I would say this did okay, did fine, but didn't do like that much better than the Unigrow, for example, or the Miracle Grow seed starter and perlite. So, yeah, so that's what the aerial carpus looked like at 30 weeks. Next, let's look at train number two. Let's start with the astrophyton down there, and then we'll come back here to look at the aerial carpus. What are you doing? Oh my, I just sat down and found this guy in here. How did you get in here? Gosh, I have to keep Cookie away from. Oh, what? That kind of caught me off guard. What are you doing in here? How did you get in here? All right, let me go. I'm going to move this guy out of here because otherwise it will be in big trouble uh, if Cookie finds it. And then I'll come back. I wasn't able to catch that lizard. I want to catch it and take it out. Um, it was hiding in an area and then I went by and when I came back with a little container it was gone. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. I really hope it can stay away from Cookie. Alright, back to tray number two. So we tried six other soils um, because of that whole observation of the miracle Grow Cactus Citrus Palm Mix. I wanted to see if we amended it with um, some inorganics, if that would help, and it did. And the other thing was about the Rob Romero mix because my native soil clearly isn't very good because it's so clay based. So we used some, you know, cactus soils instead of the native soil to see if it would do better. So that was the purpose of tray number two. We've got six soils here and let's look at the astrophytum first. So the first soil is the miracle Grow Cactus Citrus Palm Mix, but amended with a Japanese bonsai soil, which was I think it was all inorganic, but it did contain Akadama. Um, so you can see it, uh, that miracle Grow soil did much better having been amended with inorganics. You can see here, so these are all 20 weeks old. Notice I have the dome off now um, because they're, you know, they're about five months old. Yes. They don't need that high humidity environment anymore. At least I think they don't. I don't have a good, like, hard, fast rule about when to remove the dome. Sometimes it just depends. Look how fuzzy that guy is there. So much fun. Next is the Rob Romero mix, but instead of using my native uh, soil, um, I used the Miracle Grow Cactus Citrus Palm mix. And it's doing okay. It's and this was that observation about how these seedlings are kind of doing, have a wide ver variation on how they're doing depending on where they are in the tray. So there's the hypothesis on perhaps the light intensity having something to do with that. So it's really hard to make a conclusion out of these six uh, soils in tray number two. Here's a Unigro cut with the Japanese bonsai mix just to see how it does instead of straight out of the bag. It's doing all right. Twenty weeks. Next is the Rob Romero mix and then using the Unigro as the native soil component. I don't think there's a big difference between the Rob Romero mix using Unigro and the Rob Romero mix using the miracle Grow Cactus Citrus Palm Mix. They're, they look very similar to me. Mm, here, they're, now they're both in frame, you can kind of see. And if I pull out, you can see these two. Very similar. Then we have something a little different. I used the Japanese Bonsai Mix and then I mixed in worm castings as the organic component. You can see this pot is doing really well. But then we have, we move to this pot, same soil, but it's not doing as well. Like the seedlings are just not as developed. The last pot, same comment. Really interesting. And then the last soil type in tray number two is just using my adult soil. 
So 75% pumice with 25% unigro in this case. It's, I don't know, this pot is not great. I think there's five seedlings in here left. I don't know if this is rotting or not, I don't know. This one, like the seedlings came up well, but their development is, I don't know. I don't remember what they were supposed to look like at 20 weeks. Not the last pot. So it's really hard for me to make any conclusion of this tray number two, except that the miracle Grow Cactus Citrus Palm Mix does much better if you amend it with inorganics. That's the only conclusive statement I can make. And you can see that there's water in this tray because I just watered these guys and they watered probably a little bit too much. I am top watering, I'm not bottom watering just because that's what I'm used to doing. I think I'm watering these guys, I mean both trays about once a week since they're both uh, uncovered at this point. Uh, let's go take a look at the aerocarpus. So the aerocarpus used to be in this tray with everybody else, but ever since I removed the dome, I moved the aerocarpus up to that other tray as well. So let's go take a look at those. All right, so we're back at our aerocarpus tray, and I also try to arrange things to be in the same order as what it looks like down in tray number two. Uh, and did I manage to do that or not? Let's see. Okay, so the six soils from tray number two is this row of four, and then these two pots. So first we have the miracle Grow Cactus Citrus Palm Mix cut with the Japanese Bonsai Mix. This is Aerocarpus Rotusus. Uh, one thing is that Aerocarpus seeds are also seeds from my own plant in tray two, but they are from different mother plants compared to tray number one, so it's not a perfect apples to apples comparison between tray two and one on the aerocarpus, but eh, my experiment is not that <laughs> well controlled anyway. You can see some of the seedlings in there. We've got the robber marrow mix with a uh, miracle grow cactus citrus palm mix as the native soil. They're in there, but they don't look particularly happy. We've got Unigro cut with the Japanese bonsai mix. Doesn't look like there's that many seedlings in there, but of the seedlings that are there, they seem to be doing pretty well. We've got the Rob Romero mix, but with Unigro as the native soil. Decent number of seedlings, but they're also not looking that happy, especially compared to tray number one anyway. Okay, next we have the Japanese bonsai mix with the worm castings as the organic component. You can see the seedlings in there. They're really, really dark colored, but they're there. And then the last soil from tray number two is my adult soil, which is again 75% uh, pumice with 25% unigro. You can start to see those fat tap roots developing. I don't know, for some reason this, the aerocarpus from tray number, uh, tray number two, sorry, I'm lo looking at the wrong pots. They're there, but they don't look as, you know, green and happy as the seedlings from tray number one. I don't know, uh, maybe they need more time up here with the dome and with a uh, little bit of light protection. And then all these other pots are not part of the experiment. They were my dummy pots, so yeah. They're doing all right too, it's kind of interesting. I've got like other Aerocarpus species in here using whatever soil medium I had just to, just to sow the seeds. I think same thing up here, these are all dummy pots. This one is doing pretty well, this is Fissuratus. Probably the best Fissuratus I've ever had uh, at this age. But again, Aerocarpus I have really struggled with in the past. Like at some point, even a year into growing, they'll just suddenly melt and I don't get it. Um, so I don't hold my breath on these even though they look, you know, some of these pots look pretty darn good. But uh, we'll see over time. So I know that these uh, seed soil updates are not as popular as some of my other videos, but uh, I know some of you are really interested in this. So hopefully for those of you who are interested in this, that it's still um, that you still find interest in seeing these updates because I'll be back next month uh, with another update. And we'll just keep going until 
at least a year comes up or until um, I have to repot. I think these are these can still stay in there but yeah they're starting to get crowded. All right thank you all. Um, hope you enjoy this. Take care y'all. Bye bye. Cookie, there's a lizard in the house. You leave it alone, okay? It's our friend. Okay? Pretty girl. I love you. Okay, I need to use the car now.